the guard position, this position you saw me using mostly today, is what my grandfather created. There were, the guard didn't exist, you know? Nobody knew how to fight from the back and feel comfortable. So that's where he felt comfortable because anybody can lay on their back. And he learned the best ways to position his body to where the guys couldn't attack him. And then the guys would eventually get tired and then he would choke him. But an example, the Japanese choke was like this. You get 200 and the, he couldn't do that. So he would pull him in and use his body weight. So that's what my grandfather created. And then my dad, he put on all the connection all the weight distribution that I was talking about today, that's what my dad invented, you know? So that's the next level. Everybody who learned from my grandfather learned the leverage, and then they put their strength in and that's what the jiu-jitsu you see today is. But every jiu-jitsu that you see today is somehow, somehow learned from my grandfather. Hi, this is Shadji and today, we're gonna try and go and examine the evidence and see where does the guard stretch back or how far does it stretch back and see uh, how much was it sophisticated or what kind of techniques they had from it and also see uh, how much it has evolved throughout the last century. So we can see today there's so many variations of the guard, so much uh, inventions and sweeps etc being done. So. I would imagine it had to start somewhere. I'm sure it existed in many civilizations, that's for sure. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna stick to all jujitsu and judo. So, uh, before I get to the oldest, I'm just gonna say this: uh, when it comes to the open guard and the closed guard, first of all, uh, this is from Yukio Tani's book, The Game of Jujitsu, published in 1906. Uh, when he talks about the open guard, he says that one once you're thrown you assume this position, he's talking about the open guard and here you can see when you bring closer you can play closed guard. Uh, there's also attacks from it. So uh, when it comes to playing guard, it was after an emergency takedown or after you got hit and this is where you play guard. It's not something that they favored but it's rather an emergency position that they played. So here uh, it's uh, another depiction, again from the same book, it's about isolating the uh, right arm of Uke before attacking it with uh, one leg arm lock as they uh, talked about in the book. So here, uh, Jiu Jitsu looks very much like Judo, etc. So people ask, so what's the difference? Um, different Koryus doesn't mean like they have completely different techniques, they had similar ancestry, etc. The, the school, if two schools are different, doesn't necessarily mean uh, they have completely different techniques. It might mean just different patriarch, etc. Uh, or a different city, a little bit of cultural aspects. So here you see um, he attacks uh, the right arm after the uh, isolating it in the previous photo from the same book. So it's not very uncommon to have uh, shared techniques, very uh, basic shared techniques. They might differ when it comes to the little detailing in other techniques, but when it comes to the basics, they all had them, in my opinion, ancestry like Yoshin Ryu, etc. So here, uh, this is one of the oldest depictions of the closed guard uh, in Japanese uh, Jiu-Jitsu. This is from the Tenshin Shinryu Ryu School, Jigoro Kano School, in 1830. This is from an old scroll. Uh, you can see, uh, the first thing that you would think is that if the uh, guard in order for it to be depicted, it must have been a very common position. So uh, people often landed in the closed guard after they've been taken down, etc. So it was a p defensive with a little bit of offensive options from it. So I would imagine they had the cross choke and also the arm bar, which is very uh, basic, very white belt, but also there is evidence to suggest the thing. So it's not uncommon to attack with the armbar and completely sweep them when they are and they become fully on their backs uh, again one of the white belt things uh, you do uh, also depicted in the Yukiotani uh, for book and the Sadakazu Uyanishi I will link them all below in PDF format so you can have them uh, 
Here you can see a depiction of the armbar from the same year, the same scroll of Tenshin Shinyuryu. I would imagine it can also come from the closed guard. So a staple position that had to be depicted, very common, that's why they depicted it and it was a source of defense and attack, I would presume. So uh, it's, it's not uncommon, you can have something uh, very similar like this. As I mentioned, very basic, but it's also uh, sufficient. The basics can take you a very long way. Uh, when it comes to also attacking the choke, as Krohn uh, claimed, uh, it's not you, someone that looks at this photo, they can say, oh, look, he's far. He's going to squeeze it from very far and use a ton of strength here in the open guard. But uh, I would beg to differ. So here, let's see Kyuzo Mifune demonstrating the cross chokes and see whether uh, they would bring them closer and then proceeds to squeeze from the back and also from top position. So here you can see uh, he brings them closer and then proceeds to choke. Same thing, he switches to open guard or butterfly guard and then does the same thing. So uh, using leverage, bringing someone closer, uh, attacking guard once, once things failed, etc. Uh, it was being done in 19th century and earlier. I don't know how far does it stretch back because Tenshin Shinyuryu was done by uh, or created by Iso Matayemon Masatari uh, in the early 1800s during the late Edo period. He is uh, inspired from uh, uh, Shinto Ryu and Yoshin Ryu. So they are the ancestors of this art and I would imagine they had guard game a little bit. So. Uh, here you can see that uh, very basics, they had many common ancestors, but uh, the earliest forms of the guard that we see here as evidence is from 1830 in the old scrolls and uh, not from early 20th century in Brazil as the claims were made in the early of the video. So uh, when it comes to leverage and really having weight distribution, there's also very old evidence to suggest that they were working on this uh, centuries ago. So here, the Oguri Ryu, uh, this is a north-south depicted in the 1600 AD. This is stretches back to over 400 years now. Uh, from the depictions, they look like big heavy men, like sumo wrestlers, so I would assume they would use a lot of strength. But if you listen to my Matayemon Tanabe video, his upbringing, he talked about two concepts that he came up with. He mentions the first one being the eel restraint. So he says that when it comes to squeezing an eel, if you squeeze it too hard, it's going to slip out. But if you put subtle pressure, you can contain it. So uh, I would assume he was talking about proper weight distribution and also uh, letting them move, but then following them in order to keep the, the top pressure. Uh, here you can see another uh, side control. You can see the weight distribution, laying the stomach on the waist, uh, grabbing the collar. Also, this is from Tenshin Shinyuryu from the 1830. Uh, Osaikomi here, another other forms of Osaikomi or pins. You can see here he's having the foot uh, high up. And it's not laying on the ground as base in order to prevent them from going back up using leverage. Uh, again, 1830 the uh, Tenshin Shinyuryu school of Jigoro Kano. Uh, so this is what uh, mainly this video was mainly about. Try to find the earliest forms of the guard, which is the these scrolls. I'm sure they existed far back. Uh, they've been being done for centuries or decades. Uh, and then they decided to stretch them. Uh, I'm sorry, document them. Uh, but uh, that's the thing with the Japanese that no one says, hey, I invented this or whatever when it comes to technique. For example, one of the latest examples is uh, Kanemitsu Yaichiyoe when he came up with the triangle choke and also uh, the knee bar. He, d he never came out and said, this is mine. Uh, you have uh, his students talking about it. You have people documenting the uh, tournaments that talked about the story that he had to invent these in order to beat Oda, but he himself never came out and said, uh, hey, these are mine. Uh, for example, Oda put the triangle choke in his book and people uh, made the mistake and think that uh, he came up with it when in fact he did not. So 
uh, it's important. Uh, it's this stuff like this. I don't know why it happens, but stuff like this uh, makes it very hard to have a, a precise image of when something started or by whom it started. Uh, but we can uh, rest assured that it existed in old jujitsu. Uh, I'm sure it did not start with uh, Tenshin Shinryu. I'm sure it started with you know Yoshinryu stretching out uh, centuries back because the lineage of Yoshinryu dates back over a thousand years. So uh, something like the guard, which is very instinctive, very basic, it is. Uh, I'm. I'm more than sure that it existed before the Tenshin Shinyu Ryu. So um, if you have something else to add, here you can see Mifune attacking from back and from top. So you can see the variations, but when it comes to mentality, it still pretty much exists till this day. Judokas do not want to be on their back. Uh, and while BJJ, they do want that. They prefer the guard. It has become a game. It has become a sport. But uh, when it comes to self-defense, that's not where you want to be. You can hold the guard for a bit, but attack immediately and sweep immediately. That's your best bet. Uh, not play very variations like uh, spider, etc. That that stuff will not get you anywhere. Just like Bisping said, do not play guard on the streets, uh, only in sports. And I would say the same thing. Uh, Yukio Tani did it. He said that assume this position once you're thrown only. So. Uh, I will link everything down below for you to check it out. The uh, depictions, the scrolls, etc. And the two books of Sadakazu Uyanishi. And also uh, the Yukyotani, the game of Jujitsu. If you have anything else to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.